the temple bells are ringing once again, but the authorities on ground are facing numerous issues. It is not easy to bring a place torn apart by nature to normalcy. The aftermath of Himalayan tsunami now poses a tsunami of problems. <laughs> The temple doors of Kedarnath opened once again on May 4th. The air is now filled with prayers. Devotees are coming here once again in huge numbers. The temple authorities are doing their best to make the stay of these devotees comfortable. Because of the unbelievable destruction that happened just a year ago, the temple authorities and government authorities alike are on high alert. The tragedy is a big roadblock on the way to the main temple, even now for the devotees. The weather though is not as harsh as last year, but still poses a challenge. Keeping nature's Thandava in mind, the priority is now keeping human life safe, even in the event of a disaster. The aftermath is so severe that even a year of rehabilitation has not brought things under control. The roads still lie ravaged. But despite all odds, the morale of the devotees is still at an all-time high. Several devotees are now set on the Chardham Yatra, but no one can possibly forget the tragedy that tore Uttarakhand into shreds. Sixteenth June, two thousand and thirteen. The cloudburst engulfed the entire temple town. The tragedy couldn't be brought under control for days, and it claimed the lives of thousands of victims who came here for a holy darshan. Loss of life, collateral damage everywhere. Just a year ago from today, several victims were trapped in Uttarakhand with no food or even fresh water to drink. The torrential rains did not even spare the temple of Shiva. The situation was so bad that rescue operations couldn't even come close to the temple that once echoed holy chants and mantras. Though the main temple and its structure remained impervious to the destruction, there was colossal damage all around it. There seemed to be no living soul left anywhere close to the temple. Because of this unforeseen tragedy, the main entrance to Shiva's abode was also destroyed beyond recognition. The hotels near the temple, shops, rest houses, ten feet broad roads were all covered in a mass of rubble. All around this very place was a dance of death and destruction.
This tragedy not only ravaged Kedarnath, but it became a common sight in almost all the hilly areas in Uttarakhand. A temple in Uttarakashi couldn't withstand the strong currents of the Bhagirathi River and was completely ravaged. In Rishikesh, the Shiva statue also was entirely engulfed by the river. In the crux of the crisis, army personnel deployed there showed their might, but even they faced many challenges in the wake of the tragedy. Because of the harsh weather conditions, help and rescue operations took a severe beating and couldn't reach many spots on time. People were lucky to be alive, but were stuck waiting for rescue teams to reach them. They had no options but close their eyes and pray to the Almighty. With joint efforts and limited resources, the authorities tried their best to bring things under control. But the Himalayan tsunami was so severe that even till date, the efforts to bring the place back to how it once was is underway. The way to the holy temple is still paved with thorns, but the hope and prayers of the millions of devotees have paid off. The temple has been restored to its old glory. Devotees have started their prayers in the temple with a new ray of hope, but every second spent here is a horrifying reminder of that fateful day. The Himalayan tsunami was a wake-up call to all humanity, how a single day of nature's wrath can change things forever. Just a year ago, horrifying images of the disaster were aired on every television. But today, the temple town is returning slowly to normalcy. No one can forget the day when the Himalayan valley bore the brunt of nature's wrath. The visuals of that day can send a shiver through our spines even today. Just imagine the plight of helpless devotees who were stuck here when nature waged a war against all of humanity. The heavy currents of the river were merciless. It engulfed everything on its way. Multi-storey buildings, cars, houses, everything fell like a pack of cards. The Shiva statue in Rishikesh became a symbol of what was really happening in Uttarakhand. The helplessness of the people of Rishikesh became synonymous with Shiva having closed his eyes against their plight. The images captured spoke volumes of how even God could not save humans against the wrath of nature. The place which echoes with the JJ Kar of Bhole Baba 24-7 was now ravaged by a thunder of death. But now, once again, the prayers have begun. What was lost will never come back. With a little left, life goes on. Devotees now dub the tragedy as a proof of the intervention of God. While the entire temple town of Kedarnath was reduced to rubble, the temple stood strong. Facing strong currents and debris, it stood unshakable. 
Kedarnath is on the banks of a mighty river. It is still very vulnerable to floods. After the horrifying cloudburst in 2013, no one would have ever imagined the authorities would be able to bring the place back to normalcy within a year. The devotees have come back to visit Bole Baba once again, hoping he never opens his third eye. A News 9 report.